I'm just a little traumatized because Megan's venomous snake appeared after about 10 days of absence. Makes me wonder what. Everything is still going normally. Good people are still loved, and bad people are still hated. The UK and the world are still good. And her appearance has no impact on anything in this world. Of course. But what I want to say here is why she appeared on social networking sites. On the day of Prince George's 11th birthday, in particular, she did not appear alone. She was allowed to take photos with actress Kimberly Williams Paisley. What are her intentions? First of all, I want to wish George a happy birthday, wishing him good health, happiness, good luck, and all the best things in life. Let's talk about how many times Meghan tried to destroy and steal the spotlight from other members of the royal family. Whenever the royal family has an important event, Meghan will quickly launch an action to distract public opinion and attract attention. On June 14, Nacho Figuera, Harry's friend who plays polo, shared a photo of a jar of raspberry jam with the American Riviera Orchard brand logo on Instagram. Even though it was only a few hours before Catherine appeared in public after her cancer treatment, Meghan knew everyone was excited about Princess Catherine's return, but she also colluded with Harry's friend to do it to divert attention. Surely her jealousy is higher than the mountain. She was afraid that Catherine's appearance would officially kick her out to the chicken coop, and that was the truth. The way this girl always cuts in makes outsiders feel really uncomfortable. Just like people are lining up orderly and someone cuts in. Actually, it was Catherine's fault for notifying her so quickly that my sister was only able to slug two jars of jam in time to compete. Remember to notify Megan soon, so my sister can have a plan to take over. But Catherine's waves are so big. If you can't take it back, when it sinks, Megan will cry again. This Megan always waits for a royal event to appear and grab the spotlight. But her range is only in the village pond. Looking at the real royal family, little princesses and new princes is the expectation of every sparkling beauty like in a fairy tale coming to life. Much respect to the king, Crown Prince William, Princess Anna, and Prince Edward paraded in the rain. The moment you stand on the palace balcony, go down in history, loving Princess Catherine, but this time not even a child is spared. Does she even want to compete with a child? Do you think Meghan can compete with Prince George? No way. What a paranoid snake. The sad thing is that she sees what she does as competition. But really all she does is show how scary she is. Which is why Hollywood influencers don't want. What does it have to do with her? And she finds absolutely nobody to hang around with? Frankly, I think it's time to stop admitting her desperate deceptions because that's her oxygen. Just focusing on the royal family was enough to confuse her more than anything. Catherine did a great job capturing Prince George. He's growing up so fast. Obviously, this was completely predictable. For me, it's completely possible the witch stepped out the door at about the same time as Kimberly Paisley was leaving, to make it appear as if the two of them are together. If you look closely, You'll see that Kimberly isn't even looking at the stupid witch or is wondering what the hell the witch is doing standing there. I think this was made to appear like they were together much like the picture with Cameron Diaz and her husband. What a stalker. How pathetic. And I haven't seen Kimberly in a while. Last year she co-starred in a film with Rob Lowe. At least she's a more famous person than the Montecito witch. She is married to Brad Paisley, a country music singer. And she's certainly an actress in her own right. Look, Kimberly doesn't seem happy to be seen with her. That's right. We can think that maybe Megan just encountered her while on a millionaire hunt. As you just said, it seems like Megan noticed her inside and waited outside to take a photo with her. Look at that glance. It tells the whole story. It's that grin again with the fake teeth. Everywhere you look it looks fake. Probably only her black heart is real. What a pathetic piece of trash she is. Her games are just laughable and everyone can see through her desperation. As far as I know, Kimberly also does it from scratch. But the way she does it is really serious. Kimberly and her husband Brad Paisley are examples of humanitarians and have done so much for people in Nashville. They opened a grocery store. The store for the underprivileged in Nashville. 
and recently sponsored a free veterinary clinic also in Nashville. That's why someone like her wouldn't spend her precious time with someone like Megan. Do you have any comments on Megan's outfit? Um, um, it's still as wrinkled as every time she appears. The collar is also not neat, like a wanderer. I heard Megan lost weight, but her clothes still don't show her waist. It's so confusing. The bag was Dior's, but in her hands it felt like a waist. Surely Dior is praying to God to spare their bags. That's right. Megan often uses luxury items, but they don't have to be bought with her own money. She stole charity money, sold off her family and friends to have money to serve those items. But look, she herself has reduced the value of expensive items. But no matter what, no one in the world will use such cowardly plans. Or maybe Megan is pining and hating a child. Do you remember that last year? On the occasion of Prince George's 10th birthday, People magazine made headlines when it turned down Meghan Markle's invitation to appear on the cover, instead choosing to pose for the cover of Prince George to celebrate his 10th birthday. That's right, she must be a vindictive and petty person. Even though her father raised her to adulthood, she still hates and abandons her. There's no one in the world she wouldn't dare to play dirty with. But the important thing is whether she has the ability and qualifications to play tricks with others or not. For example, in the last two times, the last time Kong grilled Catherine, and this time on the occasion of Prince George's 11th birthday, she did not get what she wanted. Everyone still tries to pay attention and love the person who deserves to be loved, but Meghan only receives criticism and exposes her fake face. Um, my point is that life is inherently fair. Just live with each other kindly, and you will get what you want. Look at Catherine's achievements. She doesn't need to fight or compete. Where are Meghan's children? Or they haven't even been born yet. While the whole world wished Prince George a happy birthday, Archie only released a photo of him as a newborn. Someone explained to me, what kind of plot or intention does Meghan have? It's more like she's crazy. That's right, I feel so sorry for Meghan's children. I'm not sure if we really exist, but if they do, then what I see is imprisonment. They are living no different from being in prison. No siblings, no grandparents, no schooling, no going out, no entertainment, etc. Honestly, if you forced me to live like that, I just wish I hadn't been born. They are children, and there is nothing else they can do. But as a father, I want the best for my children, and I feel sorry for Harry's children. On this occasion, I would like to send a message to parents. Social communication is not only an essential part of language development in children, but also an important foundation for the development of social skills, association, self-esteem, and confidence. Through each interaction, children learn to understand and respond to the emotions of others. The first step to building healthy relationships and learning how to adapt to different social situations. Social communication also prepares children with the skills needed to succeed in school and later in the workplace to support children's comprehensive development, encouraging and creating opportunities for children to participate in social activities is extremely necessary. I hope the children born receive love and the best education possible. It was wonderful to chat with Ms. Wish you a nice day. Thank you for watching my video. I will be even more grateful if I receive comments expressing your thoughts, likes, shares, and channel subscriptions. And now I regret to say goodbye and see you again.